guys, what are we going to look at today? We are going to do first day in pockets for this O-Knife Beagle that Olay Company sent me. So, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. I, I'm digging this. So, let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of music and then talk about it some more. I'm here on a Sunday and I just decided I was going to get this out earlier today and uh, carry it. I have noticed that there's just only a couple little things that I'm not 100% sure of about whether I like it or not. Um, but they're not horrible. It's not like this is like, oh, this is a no-go. Uh, so, you know, hey, thanks to Olight. If you guys don't know, Olight is one of my affiliates down below uh, in the description and they are having a big sale, as you can see, big sale running from the 13th at 8 p.m. till midnight on the 14th, up to 35% off on items, including this knife. So, yeah, you guys might want to check that out. So, let's not talk about it anymore here. Let's take a look at this from above. All right, guys, as always, first day in pocket. It's going to be quick because it's just an overview. I took it out and I wanted to put it back in the pouch because I wanted to call I like this pouch. This is a really nice pouch. It's not too big. It doesn't have, like, a bunch of extra pockets. And this knife specifically, I don't know if it's because it's a limited edition, came with a coin, Outdoor Elite O-Knife Beagle uh, O-Knife Folding Pocket Knife. And this one is, I don't know if it's going to be a permanent thing, this one is serialized. So this one has a serial number of 1529. So I don't know how many of them they made. So let's get into it real quick, get the stuff out of the way. So this is a nice little knife, thumb flipper only. Uh, so far, I've been carrying it today. It has been really nice in pocket. The pocket clip is one of the things that I, you know, I, I have a problem with some of these deep carry pocket clips. That is really tall. Luckily on this knife, it's not too bad. It sits in an area where it doesn't bother me. It's it's not like the Kaiser Land, which was a great, great knife, but the pocket clip was just in an area. I couldn't stand it. So, so far today, I've been carrying this. I have not cut much with it, but I will tell you, it carries great in jeans and in track pants. So I put it in my pocket earlier today when I was still wearing just a pair of track pants, put on some jeans because I had a bunch of stuff to do. Um, so the tension on the pocket clip's just about right. The action on it so far seems great. It came really sharp. Like I said, uh, I think, I, did I say it already? I can't remember if I said it in the intro. I do believe these are being made by Kaiser. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. As a matter of fact, give me a second, let me look. Okay, yeah, I took a quick second and pulled it up. These are being made by Kaiser, and I had that as a suspicion because I saw the the Ozzo design mark there, and I thought to myself, I know that name. That's a Kaiser name, and which makes sense. It's very Kaiser-esque. Um, it's well done. The micarta is great. The action on it is great so far. I like the fact it's not a flipper. I do love flipper knives, but you don't always have to have a flipper. So the action on it's great. It has this big harpoon blade that so far what I've used as I've used it today is great because I can get my thumb right up on it. Um, I am pretty much out of cardboard. I don't want to have to buy stuff for cardboard. So I might just go to Costco and rob their box bin. Pretty sure that's what Jared does. That's how he gets so much cardboard. Um, but yeah, it cuts, it has cut really well. The logos and everything are really done. The lines are nice and clean. I'm not seeing any inconsistencies. There's no proud spots. There's nothing loose. It came just rock solid. Um, looks like a steel lock bar insert with a ceramic detent. So I would imagine it runs on ceramic bearings, but we'll look into that when we get closer into the actual carry. I like that fairly broad blade. Um, with the nice belly on it. It has come in handy for a couple things I did. I used it for a little bit of kitchen prep stuff. Um, it does cut okay. It's not super, super thin. So when we do the full review, we'll look at the actual thickness for size. I mean, on this, you're looking just about like on the mat. It looks like about seven and a half inches. So it's not huge, but it is larger than some of the other knives I've had on the channel recently. So just 
overall first impressions, 154 CM steel. It's ground really consistently and well. And I've told you guys, I apologize for the shakiness in this. I have nerve damage in this hand. And the doctor has confirmed that that's never going to go away. Doesn't affect the sharpening, but it definitely affects when I'm trying to get some detailed pictures and stuff. Um, I like the blacked out hardware. I'm a sucker for, guys, I'm a sucker for that black and silver contrast and a, and a good... Uh, a good uh, satin, like a, like a belt satin or a burger grinder satin. Um, I like the contrast with black black hardware and a satin blade. Um, and having your liners blacked out just gives it a nice, clean, clean look. So uh, the other thing I I like this. It's been it, that finger area has been done in a way where uh, I mentioned it in the Migron. Uh, knives first day in pocket that's not a hot spot so far but it definitely feels strange that the the uh, liner lock sticks up high i like the fact they lowered this contoured all of this and then kept that fairly level because it doesn't really interfere with the way it feels in hand it just feels nice and clean i imagine if you're left-handed you would find it maybe a little odd but i'm not left-handed so actually you know what that actually feels great left-handed. So, you know, left-handed pocket clip. Oh, yeah, you can reverse it. So it might be great. So there you go, guys. Just a quick look at it. Um, I, I'm, I'm digging it. I appreciate Olight for sending it to me as one of their affiliates. Like I said, I would appreciate if you repaid the kindness by checking out their sale they're going to be having. I'll talk about it in the outro. But, uh, yeah, it's... It's it's a great... It's a great little knife so far. So let's go ahead and turn this around and do some final thoughts. There you go, guys. The O Knife Beagle. This is, now, like I said, in the tabletop, I found out these are being done by Kaiser. I was pretty sure of it, but I looked it up. Um, so they're doing a pretty good job on them. Uh, this is this is a really nice knife. And since I had a couple comments, guys, I do have more than one sweatshirt. What you guys don't see is when I come out to the garage, there's a couple sweatshirts. One is a clean one. One is a uh, the, my work one when I'm sharpening. And I just change into whichever one, and then it stays here for a while. I'm not very often wearing this sweatshirt. Usually I'm wearing something that I don't care if I ruin while I'm doing sharpening. So uh, it's like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. I come in and I change into a different sweater. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it on this one. I, you know, if you, if you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what it is that you don't like. Uh, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like I do sometimes when I put videos back behind me. Just share the content with people you think would like it. Liking videos, subscribing, and sharing the videos is the best way to get the channel to grow. So uh, if you want to support the channel financially, for me the best way is for you guys to get into a membership where you get early access to videos, uh, exclusive content, exclusive giveaways for premium and baseline tiers, and uh, ex a premium a premium tier sharpening tutorial series, and you save $5 off per sharpening. So uh, other ways you can do it, I have a list of affiliate links down below, uh, different companies, a lot of them are on Amazon. It doesn't matter what you click on on the Amazon ones, anything you click on, I get credit for it. Amazon pays me, and it doesn't cost you anything. And I also have a merchandise store where you can get some of my shirts and stuff like that on Ember Shirt Co., and I've set you up a coupon code. It is crazy sharp, all one word, capital C, capital S, crazy sharp, saves you 10% at checkout. Guys, I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. Uh, I'm starting to put up videos seven days a week, hopefully before too long. Uh, so if you like them, hopefully you stick around. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.